So let's look at this cluster first because I do feel the King of Pentacles, Queen of Pentacles, um, they're both showing up like this. Usually I would read them as you and in this situation I, nor I normally would read it as you. However, because we have this card which indicates family, I do feel an element of family coming in, possibly your, um, whoever it is that you consider, you know, your, your traditional parents, okay? So I do feel like a, a mother, a father influence is co going to be needed in order to stabilize you for this month. Um, I do feel that a lot of you, your father figure is somebody who is um, very, like, cerebral. It, it's very, like, systematic, very methodical. And um, it's somebody who really cares about other people, but cares in a very detached manner. Your mom, on the other hand, is very nurturing, okay? So a lot of you are um, have parents that are of that dichotomy. And I know it sounds like stereotypical, you know, gender roles, but what I do feel is the father figure actually for this month is going to be able to show his maternal his loving side okay and he's not going to do it with words he's going to do it through actions and I do feel that um, there is a deepening in the love relationships that you have with family members in general and I do feel there are going to be opportunities for um, family reunions for family members to come into the picture to provide of um, to provide like um, to provide guidance, to provide like emotional support. Um, we do have a troublesome energy that's coming through and we'll talk about that in a little bit. But I do feel that element of family nurturing and um, sustaining you through a rough period is going to be in order for this week. So because of it, whatever situations you have to contend with for this month is going to be okay. So keep that in mind, okay? Family support is the one sure way in which you can rebuild yourself, in which you can find the strength to move on. So there's that element of like a lot of communication, possibly uh, being in the presence of your, your parents. For those of you who don't live, um, you know, with your parents anymore, who have moved out and are now like kind of um, coming into contact with parents. I do feel family element is going to be like front and center for this month, mainly because they're the central cards and um, you're not going to be operating at your best. I, I, I don't feel like, um, I feel that this reunion comes on the heels of um, some family crisis, okay? So that's coming through as well. And I do feel that um, a lot of you might not have planned this trip to go home to see the family members, especially your parents but you're going to have to because of some upsetting news surrounding the family unit and people around relatives, family unit or something like that. So financially, not to worry at all. I do feel that um, you're making more than enough. So taking this trip would be very good for you to replenish yourself and to also get the emotional support that you need because um, I do feel like a little bit of a shakiness, like a um, wavering in your resolve coming through like the second and third weeks of the month in which you're kind of doubting the direction that your life is taking and you're kind of um there's a sense of regret coming through that you don't really know how to verbalize how to process so having somebody who's known you since childhood is going to be able to um give you the proper guidance because they know what you're about and i do sense for a lot of you um Capricorn men and, and women, in general, you put on a very, very tough demeanor. I mean, you have a lot of inner strength, and you put on a very, very tough front. But um, I do feel that your parents, there is a very strong sense of intuition about them. They're able to see the facade. They know when you're suffering, and they're not going to be, um, you know, just turning a blind eye. They're going to show you through actions how much you mean to them, okay? And um, and they know exactly how to get you out of your funk. In general, I would sense that um, there might be a sense of um, repairs needed in your family's house, in your parents' house, that um, they're not directly asking you for it, but I do feel that you are going to chip in to help them with the repairs to give them the financial, you know, um, backing that they need in order to get something done. It could be a project. It could be j just, you know, giving them a loan 
so that they can start a new business, so that they can have something built up for themselves. So to me, in general, I feel that it looks favorable, okay? Because I don't sense any lies, deception, and I don't sense that um, they're coming to ask you for money. I, I don't feel that. And I do feel that, you know, with the father figure, there's a lot of pride associated with it. So um, he, he will not ask. So it's up to you to, like, um, you know, use your intuitive sense and to gauge needs and assess needs even when the other people don't ask okay because um it takes a lot of um it's it's difficult for parents to ask their children for money and in general i do feel that um a lot of parents they you know they they've seen you when you're young and they've always been the one to take care of you so when it's like a role reversal it's it's very difficult for them to to take and it's um it's a blow to the ego i would say so you know try to gauge needs and assess needs and you know find out if you have the money to spare i do feel that you do and come to their rescue if needed okay um so in general in terms of relationship i do feel that a lot of you might be in contact with another earth sign okay so um there is going to be an earth sign in your miss and like I said the same applies this person is going to be there for you through it in terms of romance friendships and things like that significant relationships I do feel this person is going to be there to nurture you and um, I don't sense like troubles in the relationship sector at all I, I don't feel it um, at all there's a little bit of trepidation in terms of um, family reunions I feel though you're kind of excited about it because um, we do have this, you know, sorrow and regret, but it's in the reverse position. So a lot of it is coming to an end. And I do feel like previous work projects too, um, they're starting to pay out. So you're coming across a lot of money and I do feel this payout happened like around um, the end of July. So right at this point, even though, you know, that work project wasn't very enjoyable, at least financially it paid off and if anything it's also like a good uh, resume booster for a lot of you and it is going to bring in new financial opportunities um, as well so it looks very good so let's now talk about this troublesome two cards so we do have the tower and the nine of swords these are not great cards to get in succession because this does indicate emotional turmoil and for a lot of clients um, this also indicates like depression not being able to sleep being plagued by your own thoughts and you know cycling through like worst case scenarios in your head and trying to figure out you know what happened so um, the tower it does indicate you know th the fall the fall from grace and it does indicate like a, a very very uh, quick rapid shakeup in your emotional state and you might not know what to do you might not know where to turn because everything happened so suddenly and you're kind of at a loss for words okay so in the positive sense I do feel that um, for a lot of you it could be related to your work environment um, mainly because it's under a pentacles card and for this month I feel that you know the financial situation itself is escalating so what this indicates to me as well is, you know, um, possibly being promised a promotion and then having that, uh, that promotion rescinded, being promised a job and having it rescinded. So then you're kind of like in a state of distress because you were counting on it and you were hoping for a lot of, um, a lot of your contingent, a lot of your plans for the future was like dependent on this job. And as a result, you're just kind of baffled as to what to do next. Okay. Um, I do feel if the tower indicates like a fall, an accident, and things like that, I do feel there is an element of children involved in your family, like a younger sibling, a younger cousin, nephew, nieces, somebody like um, a younger energy involved in this accident. And I do sense that um, I don't feel that it's, it's life-threatening or anything like that, but it is a little bit distressing because it's coming through as um, during a time of family celebration, a family gathering, when a lot of people are in the picture and then this, you know, situation happened. So the one thing I would say is um, turn to one another for support. And I do feel obviously you are going to do that. Um, 
I do sense, you know, if it's a, a situation in which like a younger person is causing trouble, like they might be drinking a little bit too much and causing like turmoil or causing like, um, um, what is that, like scandal in a family. It could be problematic in that regard. So just, you know, keep yourself calm. Try to try to de-escalate the situation by drawing attention away from it, okay? And, um, you know, cause a, cause a distraction and, and have somebody run in and grab that person and, and you know, walk them out of the room to, to mitigate the effects. I feel that that's, um, it could be like somebody drinking too much and then spilling like a family secret. Um, that tends to happen when family gatherings, you know, um, occur. So that's something to, to keep an eye out for. I do sense that, you know, seeing the beginning of the week and the end of the week, the financial situation itself is still the same. So um, if anything, you are escalating from an eight to a queen. So it's not going to be troublesome or problematic for you. And I don't feel that this energy is going to permeate all through the week. It's just a, a very quick flash in the pan and then it's gone, okay? But I do sense that um, it might be related to younger children, like younger people in your family, so be careful about that, all right? Um, I do feel as well um, there are going to be news of exes from the past, and I do feel that um, it's bringing in the initial, you know, bouts of sorrow, but you're going to get over it. And um, excess from the past cycling through is completely normal, actually, because um, we do have like the Venus retrograde. So that's um, that forces us to re-examine our past, that forces us to kind of confront a lot of the issues that might have caused the relationships in the past to fall apart. So that's completely normal. This is a healthy time for you to, to I guess, um, revisit it in your head mentally, not physically. I, I don't feel that physically things are going to serve you well because a lot of you are in a good place. So for those of you who are dating like water signs, especially I'm getting water signs with this moon card, I do feel that situation is going to be... Um, well, it needs to be left behind. And I've been saying this for Capricorns for quite some time. And I do feel that um, a lot of clarity in general is, um, is definitely coming through regarding exes, regarding people from your past in general, not just uh, confined to water signs. But I do feel they are all being left behind because you're going through a phase right now where you're actually going to be like, um, you're going to be okay on your own. And if anything, you're more happy to be on your own. All the cards are very solitary. So I do feel that um, this is not such a great uh, relationship-oriented month. But for those of you who are like um, in stable, monogamous types of relationship, I do feel an element of family, family incorporation, like meeting um, meeting your, your, your spouse, your significant others, um, or your boyfriend or girlfriend's um, family members for the first time is indicated here because of this family gathering. And I do sense at the same time that um, it looks very favorable. I mean, you're going to gain the love and adoration of your in-laws and, you know, your parents are going to love whoever it is that you're bringing around. So it looks really good to me. So don't shy away from family gatherings um, for any reason. If you feel like, you know, um, drunk Uncle Bob's going to be there, so you'd rather avoid that, I would say, you know, just make a go for it and make the most of it. Because um, when it comes to family, you know, we, we only have like a limited amount of time with them. And it's all, it's, it's different generations all, you know, stuck in one room together. So a lot of the time tempers might flare, but at the same time, it's a great learning experience because you have people from all different generations. And um, the positive manifestation of that is, you know, one generation learning from the next. So it's a very um, fulfilling type of interaction. So, you know, let that happen for yourself. OK, there's always a lot to learn from other people who might be of a different age group. Um, regardless of whether or not we think that's true, but I do feel in general, when different generations get together, it's always a learning experience, okay? And um, it's a good exchange in general, especially if you're from like a multicultural um, type of environment. It's a great time to learn from one another in every way possible. 
So um, aside from that, I do feel that, you know, it's not going to be a chaotic or a kinetic month for you. I feel more than anything, a lot of leisure time is going to be indicated, mainly because of, you know, the first and the last cards. They indicate to me, you know, standing firm in your ground, uh, reclaiming your territory. A lot of you have been doing that and you're doing that just fine. Um, as an earth sign, I, I don't feel that, you know, Capricorns are are like, um, have boundary issues. Okay, so I, I don't sense that. So a lot of you are just um, taking a step back, sitting back and reflecting more than anything. So the work front, it doesn't look too busy to me. And in terms of finances, everything looks very favorable for you. So the only thing I would say is to watch out for is uh, this situation in which um, tempers might flare up during a family reunion, okay? And it is going to be related to, like, marginally to um, possibly drinking a little bit too much and a, a younger a younger um, entity within your household, like cousins, siblings, and, and things like that, nieces, nephew, a child is indicated because um, I do have two cards that signify children here and possibly, like, uh, secrets coming coming out Possibly things being revealed about this child or even like um, uh, an aunt or an uncle's divorce or a cousin and, and you know, the, the cousin's uh, spouse's divorce, something like that. Something within your household family, but it's not in your immediate household. So um, aside from those things, I do feel that um, a little bit of repairs or expenditures from your parents' household would be indicated as well, okay? So... Um, I'm not getting like overly romantic cards with this spread, except from that, um, you know, we do have the King and the Queen of Pentacles, which indicates to me like a very harmonious, stable relationship with your significant other. So whoever it is that you've been in a stable kind of a healthy relationship with, I do feel like this is a month in which, you know, you're, it, you and your significant other, whoever it is you're dating, are kind of like reaching that stage in with which you are like um, meeting one another halfway or seeing things eye to eye or having a very strong intuitive link with one another as well. So um, this card itself indicates to me, you know, it, in the upright position, it indicates victory. But in the reverse, it's like um, not willing to settle for a victory if other people or um, at other people's expense, okay? So this is a very, very, um, it's a card that indicates like personal integrity, moral integrity, and um, just your moral obligation to, to humanity and to your fellow man. So not taking like an, an offer, especially like a job offer, if it was um, promised to somebody else and it, that other person is like, um, you know, taking care of three kids and they really need that job. So a lot of you have to like grapple with a moral dilemma for this month regarding finances. What it is that you're um, letting yourself do in order to make money and what it is that you're willing to compromise on. So this moral dilemma is going to be something that permeates through the month. But it is a mental energy. I don't feel that there is any physical pain associated with it. And I do feel a lot of you, too, are going to make the right choice because you're, both, you're showing up here in the upright position in which you're kind of mulling this moral dilemma over. You might be given a promotion to do something that you're not completely fond of or to do something that you feel you know doesn't um, align with your values, with your beliefs, with your outlook and with your life path, you're mulling it over. And I do feel that, um, you know, you are going to be guided by family members, especially those of you, those people that you um, turn to as a, to, for mentorship, and they're going to guide you towards the right direction, which is that you're not going to compromise your integrity if it hurts you. It, if you're not going to do something that hurts other people, and that's what you're going to conclude this month with. So it's a very beautiful energy overall, okay? I'm going to pull out a few more cards just to um, see if there are, you know, special messages regarding love coming through. I don't get it too much with this initial spread. Let's see. Okay, well, in terms of love, things are looking good. So we have the Three of Cups, which is a card of celebration. Um, I love seeing this card, especially upright. 
you don't want to see it reverse but I enjoy seeing this card um, upright because it does indicate to me like harmony stability happiness and celebration so um, I do feel the celebration itself like I'm looking at this specifically for the love sector and um, so I do feel a very harmonious energy which is also corroborated by the king and the queen they all have their own space they have a lot of time you know alone for contemplation and because of it they can come back and you know um, meet each other so it's, it's not a claustrophobic relationship it's not a needy relationship in which you have to be together all the time the kings and the queens are both very very independent entities so whoever it is that you're in a relationship with now I do feel this relationship has potential for you know marriage for stability for long-term commitment because um you're not encroaching on one another's space you're giving each other room to breathe and you're being supportive from afar and um, it's they're both pentacles um, suit so I would say like um, even though whoever it is that you're dating might be of a different sign you're seeing eye to eye on a lot of the same things and I do feel Capricorns in general um, you know being an earth sign you you choose your partners quite carefully and I do feel at this point after you know the the ex is not working out and things like that I do feel at this point that you're going to aim for somebody who is more like-minded okay so um, relationship looks very good there are also like a lot of opportunities to incorporate your relationship into your household sector meaning you know bringing your love your significant other your love partner or whoever it is around your family members introducing them for the first time and seeing their reaction so it's a really beautiful energy at the same time this card does indicate to me that um, a lot of social events um, you know going out with friends announcing to your friends that you're dating one another for the first time so it's very exciting and additionally we have the chariot and um, the chariot is in the upright position so I do feel like um, you know vacation trips taken are going to be discussed as well you might like be able to drive together to go to this family reunion to see your relatives and overall it looks really really enjoyable and stable and I don't feel travel um, issues or delays or anything like that is associated with it but you know be prudent drive very very slowly there there might be tickets and stuff like that okay but overall finances look good so you will be able to pay off all those tickets if you need to so Capricorn it is a very very good uh, month um, don't be scared by this tower situation because I do feel that it is a moral dilemma that you're going to have to grapple with okay and it, it could be on the work front I do feel it is greatly linked to the work situation regarding how money is earned and um, what you're willing to do to earn money okay everyone has to make a living their own ways but I do feel you know whatever job that you decide to do um, no one should judge another person based on you know their occupation the line of work that they do everyone has to work to survive their own ways what I mean in this situation is um, it could be like taking a job you know being um, being um, solicited for a promotion when you know it might be at the expense of somebody who really needs the job so it's it's something like that and you're going to have to decide whatever you decide to do you're going to make the right decision 